Mayhem and High Tops here. This is 10 steps to feel better when you're depressed. And I'm just going to lean back into this thing, apparently. And this is what I do to feel better when I feel super depressed. And this is what helps me. I'm not saying it's going to help you. It's just a suggestion. Right? Don't need to get your panties in a twist just because something on my list helps me and doesn't help you. Alright? So let's dive right in. Uh, one, take a shower. Just feeling clean can help your mood overall, especially if you have overly greasy hair like me. Just showering can feel super better and warm water relieves stress and helps your muscles relax and all that. Putting on clean clothes. Again, this goes back to that cleanliness and just feeling like you did something. Plus, if you can get out of pajamas or even if you're changing into another pair of clean pajamas, it will help your overall mood just feel better. Eating something because I know that when I'm super depressed, I go without food. And... Well, there's... There's no in-between because I either binge eat when I'm super depressed or I don't eat when I'm super depressed. It depends on the stress level that goes with the type of depression I'm having. If I'm super depressed, I won't eat. Or super stressed, I won't eat. So, there's that. So, making sure you're eating something and drinking water is the next one. Drink a bottle of water. Drink a glass of water. Drink water. Drink water. I can't say that enough. Drink some water. Like, hell, it doesn't even have to be water. A glass of juice will be fine by me. Just drink something with fluid in it. So, this one's really tricky. Because if you're depressed and you're oversleeping, this one's not going to help you. But if you're depressed and not sleeping, this one will help you. It's getting eight hours of sleep. I guess it'll help if you are oversleeping to just set an alarm and get up, right? It'll, it's just to change your mood because sleep helps your mood so much and when you're not sleeping you can be irritable. So the next couple ones are physical activity ones such as make your bed because even if you're not going to clean your whole room. Just doing something productive will help. And then the next one is to do three chores. Like, even if you're not, even if there's like the tiniest chores, like you wipe off the counter or you just take the toilet brush bowl and wipe it down real quick. Like, even if it's the simplest, takes 30 seconds to do chores, do three of them. And I promise you'll feel somewhat better like you accomplished something that day. Um, my next one is to create something. I'm fiddling with my phone case. I have to take my phone case to get it onto the stupid tripod. Yeah. It's a fun thing, right? I just don't normally fiddle with my phone case, but I have a pop socket on it now, so it's easy to fiddle with. Tangent there. Uh, creating something. So creating something can also lead back into that feeling productive and it can also create happy juices in your brain. Yeah. And then the next one is to do three coping skills. And I have an entire video coming out on coping skills next month, hopefully. If I have the motivation to make it, because part of my depression is I just don't have motivation to do jack shit. But here I am trying, you know, creating something. It can be as simple as creating a grocery list for the week. It can be as simple as, um, doodling. It could be as simple as getting an adult coloring book and coloring one of the sheets out of that. It could be as complicated as making a giant puzzle. Just do something creative. 
yeah, and then coping skills, I, I keep bouncing back and forth, I know it's kind of confusing. <sighs> coping skills, coping skills are DPT skills, and there's tons of them online, and you probably already have a few, and this entire list is coping skills, so... Like, you've got a lot of resources at your hands to figure out what coping skills work for you and which ones don't. I have a list of 30 coming out next month, and I think they'll help you. And then the last one is talk to somebody. Even if it's in a message board on a chat room on the internet, talk to somebody. Just reach out somehow, and it'll get better, I promise. Um, this has been Mayhem and I Tops. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked this video, hit that like button and hit, don't forget to subscribe. Over half of my views uh, come from people who aren't subscribed, which is confusing to me. Um, because on average I get like 9, 10 views on a video and then every once in a while I'll get like 22. And... A half of that 22 isn't subscribed to me. So, hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that little bell notification. So you know what I'm posting. This has been Mayhem and High Tops. Enjoy your day.